Good morning, everyone. Sergeant Sparty here. Uh, it is Saturday morning, uh, August 1st, here at Highland Rec area. And uh, we didn't film anything last night other than setting up the tent. We just basically sat around a fire, ate our uh, sandwiches we brought in, had a couple of cocktails, and went to bed. We're uh, done with breakfast here, having my last cup of coffee. We're gonna break camp and drive up to the trailhead. Uh, we're gonna do the blue loop and the green loop and hopefully the red loop out here for hopefully a total of about 12-ish miles, maybe just a hair over. Uh, we'll see how the ankle holds up. Um, happy to report, I tried out the new quilt last night and it was excellent. Um, not enough use to do a full review yet, but uh, quick takes. I am a side sleeper and I've got bad shoulders, so I toss and turn a lot all night and that thing stuck to me. It was great and it got down to about 60 last night. So about halfway through the night, I actually had to undo the middle clip so I could let it breathe a little bit, um, but it was wonderful. Very happy with it so far. Uh, uh, X-Mid 2 person. Um, I'll put the setup on screen, um, but it took me a couple of extra minutes because I had never set it up in the yard and the uh, vents were on the opposite faces as I expected them to be compared to the one person, which I haven't set that one up in a long time either, so I could be wrong. Um, and then I had to like connect the inner to the fly and it just took me, I think it was about eight minutes total. but. Now that it doesn't have to come apart, I, it's going to be super easy to set up. They, um, the inside is great. I like that they added some pockets, I believe, from the first one. And I mean, it feels like a palace in there. The only downside I could see is that that footprint is much larger than the one person, which is great for here, car camping. Um, but if you were out on trail and you didn't have a huge area to set up in, that could, I guess that could pose a little bit of an issue. <clears throat> Probably nowhere that I've been in the last year or two, but something to keep in mind. Um, I'll put the weight up on the screen too. I weighed it before I left. I want to say it was like two and a half pounds, give or take, but I'll put that up on the screen. Um, so I am going to break the tent down, finish my coffee, and then we are going to finish packing up, do a police call on some trash, and uh, hit the trail. They break? Nope, they're fine. That's good. The only thing that's broken here is my ego. <laughs> it uh helps if you don't pack the tent up with your hat and sunglasses and headlamp in it. Just a word of advice. Okay, so we're at the trailhead here. Got our camping site broken down. Got out here, filled up our waters. Went to the bathroom. What time is it, Adam? 8.24. 824 it's probably what 70 degrees right now nice and sunny beautiful day so uh we're gonna do the green loop and then the red loop and then hopefully the blue loop for a total of 12 which i think i already said so here we go this is one of the only decent trail markings that's actually before it we're on green so we're gonna keep forward trails are in pretty good condition uh they're nice and wide, which is very nice. You can walk two people abreast, 
or get some good social distancing. They're pretty gentle, not a lot of ups and downs. Um, there's some cool boardwalks and like swampy ponds later that hopefully will show. We're only about like a third of a mile in, so more to come. About eight tenths of a mile in, first of these boardwalks. They're actually in really nice shape out here. Uh, I don't know if we'll catch a break right here, but every once in a while you get a gap in. You can see these little like swampy meadows. It's pretty nice. All right, coming up to an intersection here and, oh, what? You have to come all the way over here to see the sign. I hate these trail markings. And horse poop. This is a cool funk covered swampy pond. We have a theory that Excalibur is definitely lying at the bottom of this lake somewhere. Uh, we're not willing to test that theory. Look at this fellow we just met. It'd help if I focus on him. Look at this majestic guy. So as I was complaining earlier about the markings being terrible on this trail, even though we've been here before, I've been here twice, Adam's been here once with me, we apparently missed a turn and we're on blue instead of green again. I mean, they overlap for like 75%, but we missed one of the like dog legs off. Never saw the sign, mildly frustrating. I mean, we're still gonna get our miles in, so it's not that big of a deal. We could do that cutout next time, but it's, it's very annoying if you, uh, come out and hike these trails, be very aware that the trail is, uh, the trail markings are trash. Another cool little boardwalk here, a little bit shorter this time. They're in very nice condition though, which is very cool. Cool little series of lowdowns here. Nice long boardwalk with some cool cat's tails. When uh, we were here last weekend, walking past and just hiding in these rushes was a little snack friend. Uh, if you follow my Instagram, you probably saw that. It's pretty cool. It's just an incredible wall of foliage here. Nice change from the green tunnel that most of this trail is. Okay, we are just coming back up on the parking lot area. It's just shy of an hour and a half and we are about 4.7 miles in. So we're doing a pretty solid three mile an hour pace, which is what we wanted to keep up with. So we did that most of the green loop, except for that one turn we missed. So I think this time we're gonna do the shorter red loop. When we get back here again, next time we will uh, stop and take a snack break, refill some water, and then we will hit the blue loop with that uh, missed turn added on to cover the miles. But everything's going well. A lot more people on the trail this time than last time we were here. So T intersection, which is straight. Maybe there used to be a trail right there. I don't know. We're okay. gonna assume that's right. Yeah. Uh, trail markings. Why are you so bad? On the red trail, Similar vibe to green and blue, slightly different, a little drier, a little flatter. And I think we see a couple more of these little uh, dry fields that definitely look like they were bogs in the wet season. So little, little change. 
on this, I don't know, maybe 20 yard spur trail. It's boggy. Yes. Cool little view over this bog. Kind of nice. Scenic overlook ahead. Well, not that scenic now. See if there's anything better than I remember. Uh, nope, literally just more trail. Interesting. All right, we're back at the trailhead again. Finished that short loop. We're at about six and a half miles, two hours and 10 minutes. Gonna stop and refill some water, get a bar break and uh, try and knock out these last four and a half. Coming up, so we're coming up on that uh, Excalibur Lake and uh, we ran into some golden retrievers here earlier and clearly missed the sign, even though after shit talking it, it's fairly well marked. But uh, there's an elderly couple with some golden retrievers that were posted up right by the sign and we were not paying enough attention and walked right past it. So we'll make up that mileage now. Another view of this swampy pond. Pond literally looks solid. The funk on top is so thick. That's wild. I gotta find him again. He's right here. See him? Teeny tiny frog friend. Come on, boy. Ah! Get out of here before someone steps Off on Off he you. goes. All right, well, unless we see something else interesting like the teeny tiny frog friend, that's probably gonna be it for the day. This is all duplicate now that we've remerged with blue after making up that green segment so we got about two and a half miles left give or take but it's all retread so uh, that'll probably be it unless we run into something interesting two weeks in a row we found a little snack friend hi buddy in almost the same area yeah same boardwalk that was pretty cool all right, just wrapping up. It is 12.23. We are officially back at the car. Time to uh, get these boots off, air them out, and uh, call it a day. All in all, a pretty good hike. Looks like we got in just before the weather started to turn. And uh, knocked out 11, 12 miles. So. Good training for Porky's in two weeks. All right, I'll do it for us. Thank you and dismissed.